Gotta say, update's quite an improvement. Stop talking to you, V. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you. Not much, but I'm all right with that. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. Steve. Hey! Hey, guy. What's up, Chum? Cause I need wheels and a good driver for the day. Couple things in town I gotta take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wigs out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips make them sore. Just how it is. Oh. Don't worry. Play long enough and you'll get calluses. Start hitting What do you think you're doing, you little shit? Going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside, now! I'm not about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? Suckers like us. Fuck's sake, you swipe my keys again? In hey, relax. Why so tense? Steve's helping me out. He'll be back in two hours, tops. I decide when the punk comes, goes, what he does, not you. He won't come back empty handed. Two hours. And you hand me those eddies as soon as you come through the door. All right, Dad. Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp? All look the same to me. Probably a yapper. Goddamn Don't have to pay me, you know. In I our know. Shorts. But dear dad, I don't want those ads. Sure he is. Now he but I know how to cobble some together myself. Hop in. Whip that boy in line. Where are you gonna get the scratch? Promise you won't tell? You dealing drugs, young man? No! Come on! Mrs. Juarez pays me to clean her place, but I don't gotta do anything. It's already clean. Think she's lonely. Just wants someone to talk to. Could very well be true. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's alright. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, writing that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains. Especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. The real deal always has been. In every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice, like anything else worth doing. Sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Prim. Lyrics don't come easy though. I come up with anything, seems like it's already been done or it just sounds stupid. Kinda don't really know what to write about. Be honest. Only ever write the truth. Especially when it comes to your feelings. I don't get how... I could lie about my feelings. Don't write love songs if you're not head over heels. 
Don't, Don't write sad sack shit just because you think there's beauty in sadness. Um, okay. When something Someone really hits you in the gut, that's, that's when you sit down and write. Truth's elusive. Sometimes music's the only way to grasp it. We have arrived. Prem. Hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new releases. What can I do for you? Looking for a six string electric. Feast your eyes. Probably nothing new, but we'll see. I want something solid and true. What, and they're not? Rattle on the low E, cause the next bode. Nothing a screwdriver won't fix. No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. And willing to pay real money. Ah, shoulda said so. Come on, let's go out back. How's this? Whoa! To the Fucking right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Hendersons. Vintage axes in the back. Wanna try this one? Be my guest. I'ma let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. Never, ever heard anyone play Silverhand like that. You know? I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. Practice every day and you'll play like that, maybe better. You can learn anything, I promise. Uh, I don't know. I can learn a few riffs by heart, but it'll only ever be performing, never next gen. Good point. That's why it's better to invent your own jam. That's what practice is for. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck! My hands are shaking. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. Look, real rebellion needs time to grow. I don't understand. Not really sure how to put it. Gotta experience it yourself. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. Let's pay. Delta out of here. I'll take it. And? Excellent choice. Glad to see she'll be in, uh, in good hands. Help you with anything else? No, thanks. Here you go. See ya. Let's Delta. Still got some biz to take care of. All right.
Let's roll. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. My dad says there's gonna be another Cope War. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Asking the wrong guy. Got no interest in the topic. Couldn't care less, to be honest. Know why? Why? Because I realized I don't have to. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. Know what? You're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers. Just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead. I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Nice pendant. Looks good on you. Just a keepsake. Oh. Uh, belong to someone important? Yeah. Someone really important. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs. Can I come with? No, wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. Thanks for, well, for everything. I'm wiser now, and I don't plan to waste it. So this is goodbye. Where to now? Mm. I got a bus to catch. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? She, and not that long ago. You miss her? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Hmm.
the guitar! You forgot your guitar! No, I didn't. Haven't forgotten a thing. Never will. I know you're a free bird and all, and you're gonna do what you want, when you want. But you could at least let me know you're alive, you know? I, I don't want to say anything, but you missed your last checkup. And like I told you a million times, uh, just call when you can, okay? See ya. Hey, V! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, girl. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously. We're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you for all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Remember that. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Got your message. Johnny, look, I've been around long enough to know that anything is possible in your fucked up world. 
But I never imagined this, even from you. You must have made a pretty big impression on V for getting her on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering how you feel about that, Johnny. Having another person give their life for you. Especially when you're probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid she was. Or has your conscience finally learned its lesson? That is, if you've even got one. Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. Hey, B, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. The voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. <sighs> what did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on duo with them? At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought... Hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, eh? Okay? Bye! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote Jisei, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late, some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Kusana. somewhere no one's listening okay so my wife Elizabeth she's in on the whole thing she she keeps saying I should look after myself tells me to take these pills says they're vitamins got them analyzed at a lab and they look okay but, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results well, well, when, when you got a sec call me okay oh yeah forget to delete this message. Hey V, sorry to bother you. I know you're a busy woman and everything. But, well, I was wondering how you were doing, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The hanged man, the magician, the star. Those... Those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. They're something like death, but not quite. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll... I hope to hear from you soon. Words reached me about your decision. I can't understand it. You were so damn close. One hollow and you'd have lived. Gratitude is one thing the NUSA is good at. Yet you prefer to give up, await death, for no good reason I can see. In the name of what, V? Sweet embrace. Cause 
Soul of rage and fear 